hey, um, what's happening? So, we are back here today uh, on another month in the books. This is the May uh, Dodec Annual uh, Cooking Challenge. Um, I'm making curry chicken. So challenge for this month was a meal with at least three ingredients that all use the same starting letter. So I've got chicken, I've got coconut milk that I almost spilled on myself, <clears throat> got curry paste, um, well that was the last thing I forgot to pull out, um, I also have cane sugar. Uh, in my curry. Uh, makes it a little bit of a sweet curry. Takes a little bit of the bite off. It's good stuff. Um, so, what I've done is I have already chopped up some red and green peppers. One red and one green bell pepper. I've got two cans of coconut milk. Uh, I use light coconut milk. Cuz. Um, jar of red curry paste. Um, usually you can get like two or, uh, well, three or four curries out of this, um, depending on how heavy you go on it. Um, I got my chickens already chopped up right here. I have a pot, two cups of rice that I just spilled all over the floor. Um, and then I got my skillet pan. I'll get that rice later. Uh, so, oof. Um, yeah, so let's get started on this. So, first thing that you need to do, two cups of rice on the stove. We're gonna take uh, one of our cans of coconut milk here. Ooh, it's good thick stuff. I'm gonna probably need a spoon. Um, and we are just going to take our coconut milk and we're gonna put it in our two cups of rice on the stove. Straight that stuff in there, that's the good stuff. coconut cream, clotted coconut. Um, yeah. Pour all that in there. Do a good scrape down. Oh yeah. Give that a good stir. I'm now going to bring that up to boil just like I would with water. Bring that up to a boil and then once it's boiling I'm going to bring it down to a simmer and we're going to move it to a lower burner. We're just basically going to make rice the way we normally would except instead of water we're going to use coconut milk. Disgusting. Um, okay, so we got that going. I'm gonna throw, no, we'll leave that uncovered for now. Um, yeah, let's get started on cooking down our peppers a little bit. We want those to soften. Um, then we are going to add in our chicken. We're gonna get that browned. Then we're gonna add our curry paste. Then we're gonna add some co the other can of coconut milk to that. That's gonna make our curry. This is a very simple curry. Use curry paste. It's way easier. You don't need the thousand ingredients that go into curry paste. Cause here, basically if you're making your own curry, uh, from scratch, you would be using uh, spices, including red chili pepper, garlic, lemongrass, sea, uh, sea salt, uh, shallots, uh, coriander root, uh, kaffir lime peel. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, so anyway, just buy a bottle of this. Buy a jar of this and, you know, put a spoonful of that in there and you're good to go. That's how you make curry. Secret. Um, yeah, so let's get started on those peppers. I'm gonna get the skillet hot. There's a little oil. And we're just gonna, you know, peppers in the pan once the oil's hot. A little salt, a little pepper. Uh, we'll let that go for a couple minutes uh, until they feel soft. Um, and then we'll add the chicken in, brown the chicken up. Once the chicken's browned, then we'll add the curry paste, we'll add the coconut milk, and this is a super easy meal. Um, so that's gonna boil soon. 
Let me get sugar ready. Ooh, scoozy. Um, where is the sugar? Oh, there they are. A while back, I was gonna make curry and I needed I needed cane sugar for it. And you can't find cane sugar in large containers, or you can find gigantic containers of cane sugar. You can't find anything that you can just kind of like evenly disperse over time. So I got these right here. It's a little sugar in the raw, turbinado cane sugar. Usually add three, maybe four packets of this and good to go. If you've never had rice cooked in coconut milk, it is an experience. It is very good. It is a thousand times better than regular rice. But, I digress. Let's uh, get these peppers going. <clears throat> Put those in. You can throw a cover on it if you want. Give them like five minutes without touching them. All right, this is getting to a good position. Coconut milk boils real quick. We're gonna move that back to a simmer burner. Don't mind my grill. My grill. Don't mind my uh, my stovetop smoking a little bit. I had the uh, cast iron skillet on top of it. There was splatter all over the place. It was a mess, so there's still a little bit of that. Um, but no big deal. It's fine. Cleaned up most of it. It's just a little uh, burning. That's fine. Cool. Five minutes on that. We're going to let this rice go for about 20 minutes. And we wait. It's like five minutes, and then I'm going to throw the chicken in. We'll get that browned up curry paste, milk, coconut milk, mix it all up, and uh, sugar, also the sugar. And that's the whole thing. Um, so, while we wait, Ugh. surprise, not drinking wine this time, I'm having a beer, because I want a beer, not wine. So, I'll tell you about my favorite beer. This right here is a uh, Leinen Kugel Summer Shandy. If you have not tried it, go pick up a six pack. They're available now. Uh, this is a, uh, a summer beer, uh, only available during the summer, which we are not currently in yet, so I'm a liar already. Um, but they're real good. It's, it's, a, it's a Weiss beer with uh, lemonade and honey. It's fucking fantastic. I could drink like 10 of these, no problem. So light and refreshing. Oh. I know I said don't touch those, but I just wanna make sure they're not sticking. Um, yeah. Shit, so, um, yeah, here we are. We're making curry, this is how you make curry. They make it out to be a lot more difficult than it actually is. Well, if you're making a real curry, yeah, I guess. But we're using curry paste. It's a cheat code, but it's a good cheat code. Cheat codes are good. Um, cheat codes bring everyone to a level playing field. Um, unless you're using, like, God Mode. That's not fair. You don't do that. That's rude. Um, money cheats. I don't like money cheats either. But, you know. Um, yeah. I don't like unlimited ammunition, we don't play with that. But I mean, a cheat code to get like a specific gun? Cool. Um, you know, I mean, if you're talking like Grand Theft Auto kind of thing. <clears throat> you get that gun. No unlimited ammunition, so you're still using the same amount of ammunition that you would get with the gun. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's fine. That's fine. That's okay. That's a, that's a good cheat code. 
Um, I don't like the invincibility cheat codes. They take the fun out of it. But I mean, if you just want to mess around and you want like certain tools and you don't want to have to go through the process of getting those items just because it's a long process and it it's basically work to get to the fun that you want, put in a cheat code. Yeah. There's a game, uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, um, where you get all sorts of weapons throughout the game. And I used to use the cheat codes all the time to get the weapons that I wanted, and I had so much more fun playing the game. Um, yeah, this is like a monster potion. You drink the potion, you become a monster, you're really strong, and it's, it's real good against like the little, uh, like little Jason Voorhees baby things that chase you around with chainsaws. It's a weird game. It's a very good game. Um, it's a fun one. It's kind of like a survival thing where they throw you right into it and you just keep going until you run out of lives. You see how far you can get. Cheat codes make that kind of game fun. Because you get to see the content that you would not you would never see otherwise. Unless like, you're going to pour hours into the game to become really, really good at it. I need to stir those peppers. Okay. Good brown on them. They're softened. Let's get that chicken in there. Make sure the pieces aren't sticking together, get them nice and spread out. And we're going to do a little salt and pepper. Okay. Give that another couple minutes. Do our curry paste, our coconut milk, and I got four packets of sugar. Each packet is probably about a tablespoon. I don't know. It's four packets of sugar. Uh, <clears throat> then go back up there. That's looking quite good. Coconut rice is so good. Um, let me get rid of this. I need a spoon for that. So, it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, yesterday was actually the, uh, the anniversary of signing the papers for this house that I'm standing in currently. One year anniversary. Um, I wanted to do like a barbecue and everything like that. Um, long and short, barbecue's not happening because of current events. Um, but my parents came over. We had, uh, that's why I had the skillet out on the stove. I cooked up like burgers, hot dogs, and some barbecue chicken. Um, so barbecued indoors, uh, came out pretty good. I made pasta salad, um, what else did I make? I made a cabbage slaw. <laughs> we made, uh, Ashley made, uh, her, uh, call it baked corn. It's like a cornbread pudding kind of thing. It's very good. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Um, yeah. So, that's where I am right now. 
Uh, drank a lot of wine yesterday, which is uh, why, well no, not yesterday, today's Monday. So we drank a lot of wine on, no it was yesterday, no it was Saturday. Saturday, yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. Drink a lot of wine on Saturday. That is why I don't feel like drinking wine right now. So I'm going to have a nice refreshing beer instead. Ah. Okay. Where are we at on this chicken? Good. So, got our curry paste. I'm going to do a big spoonful of this. Like that much. That's a decent sized spoonful. Just get that in there. Actually, need a little more. Cool. And yeah, I got enough in this jar for like one more curry. So let's just go back in the fridge. This stuff literally lasts forever. Coconut milk. Stir this all up so it makes it, you know, our curry. And depending on how much coconut milk you use, I used one can for this. Um, if I was making a bigger batch, obviously I would use another can. Um, more coconut milk is going to give you more of a yellow curry. Um, it's really, it's just going to end up being a sweeter curry for the most part. This is coming out kind of orangish. Not a very red curry, but, uh, you know, it's going to be delicious. Okay. So that's mixed up nicely. The orange color, we're going to actually let, we're going to let that cook down a bit. We're going to add our sugar. That's going to sweeten up the curry. Cut out the acidity a bit. All right, and then just give that a good stir to let that sugar mix throughout. At this point, your curry is going to look very watery. That's okay. You just let this cook uncovered. The sauce will thicken. And really, you're making kind of like a stew. So you're just going to, you know, let it sit for a while. We've got another 10 minutes on our rice. Which I'm actually going to give a little stir just to make sure it's not burning. what it was a little bit so the coconut milk because of all the sugar and everything is going to want to burn so as low heat as possible and really I guess it only really needed like 12 minutes that's good so this rice has absorbed most of the coconut milk already I'm just going to let it sit now it's going to steam, continue to soften, and we'll just keep an eye on this, put it down to a simmer, and just let this cook down a bit. Uh, I'm going to leave the lid off of it so the sauce can thin. Now we'll clean up these cans of coconut, cocoa junk. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'll let that simmer. 
We drink our beer. We put the, coat, the curry paste back in the fridge. Spending a lot of time off camera here, aren't I? That's a shame. Uh, you don't get to see my pretty face so much. Alright. Find that right there. Okay, here's my pretty face. Huh. So, today's Memorial Day, day off, which is nice. Back to work for the rest of the week. Got a four day week. I got the weekend again. I'm hoping the weekend stays clear so I can do some stuff in the backyard. It was rainy on Saturday. Um, it was a little weird yesterday as far as like the rain goes. It's like on and off, like foggy. It looked like it wanted to rain. I didn't like it. Um, but anyway, uh, point is, I mowed my lawn, my lawn last weekend on Sunday and it's already back to the point that it needs to be cut again. I got more cleaning up the yard to do now that everything is like warming up and everything I gotta get out there and do this. Got a lot of bushes I need to chop down and ideally pull out. Um, we got plans to build like a uh, little vegetable garden out back. Um, we got areas that have like these big bushes along the fence that I want to get pulled out and then I was gonna build like a raised uh, garden kind of thing. Um, it's one of my goals. It's one of my my future endeavors. Um, what about five minutes? Okay. Ah, oh. we're getting closer to uh, mine and Ashley's wedding, so that's something we've been discussing lately. Is like you know. Because we are planning on doing it end of October. It's currently the end of May. So that means June, July, August, September, October. That's five months. And then I shall be wed. So that's something we're working on. Um, we got a venue. We got uh, like meals and stuff. Like, uh, meals. Um, catering and uh, the bar and DJ and, well, DJ... Um, Spotify, um, pretty much just going to make a playlist and just put that to go. That's how, that's the type of people we are. Um, but yeah, we got that coming up. So that's something that's really like our focus over the next couple months. Um, I haven't decided what I'm wearing yet. Mm. I'm going to stir the curry. Oh. Steam hit me right in the back of the throat when I went to taste it. Got a cat staring me down right now. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? I show you. You gotta wash this apron. It still has like all the flour on it from when I did dumplings. A video which you will never see because it's already been deleted. It doesn't exist anymore. Well, I'll make another dumpling video at some point. Hopefully a successful one. That one was not successful. That is why it was destroyed. All right, so we are plated up now. Um, here we go. That is a uh, chicken curry over coconut rice. Uh, sweet chicken curry um, over coconut rice. That's three C's right there, and I got cane sugar in that. Bam! Make it a sweet chicken curry over coconut rice. Coconut's also gonna make it sweet. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna be real sweet. It's gonna be delicious. So that's the thing. That's the whole meal. Um, yeah. Two cans of coconut milk, a little jar of curry paste, uh, two cups of rice, uh, chicken breast, bell pepper, two bell peppers, one red, one green. And uh, that's the whole thing. You can add onions to it, to that pepper mix if you want to. I just don't. Um, I mean, yeah, there's so much you could do with it. This is basically a starting point. It's like a. Uh, a blank canvas. Well, there's a little bit of stuff on this canvas. But this is a canvas. Um, canvas meals are good because you can just add more to them. Uh, so yeah, here we go. This is uh, our sweet curry. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next month, I guess. Alright, we'll let you know how this one goes. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs>